Hello, everyone. In this video, we will discuss the scope based access control feature in Cortex XDR. During this how to video, we will discuss scope based access control, or simply referred to as SBAC, the primary use cases, the prerequisites, how to configure the feature, verification, troubleshooting, and some resources that you could pursue once you have completed the video. With scope based access control, Cortex XDR enables you to assign users to a specific endpoint groups in your organization. By default, all users have management access to all endpoints in the tenant. However, after you as an administrator assign a management scope in to Cortex XDR users, the user is then able to manage only the specific endpoints that are predefined within that scope. Scope base. Uh, access control applies only to three functional areas in Cortex XDR. Endpoint administration table, which is where you can view endpoints to take actions on endpoints. Policy management does not apply to SBAC. Action center, where you can view and take actions only on endpoints that are within the scope of the user. And dashboards and reports, which is where scoped, scoping takes place only on agent related widgets. SBAC was created with the intent of enabling endpoint administrators from various internal departments within your organization to manage only specific endpoints within their assigned scope. SBAC is available to Cortex XDR Pro and prevent customers. You begin the SBAC workflow by navigating to the cogwheel and selecting configurations. And then selecting users. You can search for a user in the upper right hand corner. Once you found your, and located your user, you can update the XDR user by right clicking on the uh, user's name and selecting update user role. You can select the predefined role for a scoped endpoint admin and click update in the bottom right hand corner. You will receive a approval in the upper uh, to approve the user scope if there's no other additional changes to be made. A best practice to be aware of here is that SPAC relies on endpoint groups that you define within your XDR tenant. So you want to consider SPAC role as you create new endpoint groups. To update the user's uh, assigned scope now, we want to right click and click Assign Endpoint Scope. Change the default from all endpoints to specific group. Here you can select either one or multiple endpoint groups as applicable and click Apply. To verify the desired outcome, you can create a custom agent management dashboard based on the SBAC endpoint administration functional area to support endpoint scoped monitoring. The process starts by navigating to the reporting menu option and selecting dashboard manager. In the upper right hand corner, you can click new dashboard. The dashboard name is a required field. We're going to select a blank dashboard dashboard type, but you could also modify a predefined dashboard as a starting point as well and click next. In the widget library, we're going to search for widgets that we want to prioritize in our scope endpoint monitoring. We're going to prioritize the agent operational status the agent content version breakdown, the agent version breakdown, the agent status breakdown, the agent auto upgrade status, as well as the agent disk encryption compliance status. In the upper right-hand corner, there's the ability to toggle between mock data and real data 
in an effort to gain a feel of how the data will look within the widget in your dashboards. Click next. Once you get the dashboard to your desired look, you may consider making the dashboard public if you want to share the newly created dashboard with additional team members or make it private for your own purposes. Click generate. Now let's take a look at our new dashboard. Now, when the user with the assigned scope endpoint admin role logs into XDR, he or she will have a custom dashboard containing endpoint monitoring widgets applicable to the SBAC endpoint administration function area. The dashboard will allow the user to view endpoint information within their scope. It is important to remember that SBAC applies only to the three functional areas mentioned in this video. The rest of the functional areas and their permissions in Cortex XDR do not support SBAC. Accordingly, if the permissions are granted to a scope user, the user will be able to access all endpoints in the tenant within this functional area. For example, a scope user with permissions to view incidents can view all incidents in the system without limitation to a scope. Also note that the agent installation widget is not available for scope users. As we have discussed today, the scope-based access control feature is a great way to gain effective permission management for your environment. SBAC allows for more control of endpoint monitoring and visibility, which will optimize your endpoint management workflow and quickly respond to threats. You may also leverage the manage user scope within the Cortex XDR Pro Administrator's Guide for additional details. Thank you.